in. Those three examples were in a very good book I read called The Secret Life of Special Advisors, uh, which is now in paperback and by me. Now, uh, Luke Stephen is a comedian. Uh, Luke, um, have you done this yourself? Have you have, have emails gone awry, text messages you've sent to the wrong person? Hi, Peter. How you doing? Um, no, I myself, I've been quite careful, but it's happened to a lot, a lot of friends. Have, of have mine. you maybe received them? Have, you, have there been things that uh, perhaps you're, you're not really meant to have seen? No, I, I mean, I got a text message once from someone asked me if calling me Figo and if I wanted to go out and if I was ready to meet him in Portugal. I was like, I don't, I, this is definitely, I said, this isn't for me, man. And he was like, is this not Figo? I was like, no, wrong. But thank you very much. But the I, wrong I, guy. I get, I, I, it's happened about seven or eight times. I get, uh, I was put on a WhatsApp group about um, like a men's bowling group, like, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, bowls on like a bowling green. And I kept trying to yes. remove myself from it and saying, you've got the wrong number. And they kept adding me to it. And it's just like, I, I really, I mean, I'm sure your bowling group is a lovely bunch of yeah. elderly gents, but really, it, it, it's not for me. I, a friend of mine once, he got a threatening text message. He was, this guy was calling him Maurice. And he's like, I've heard you've, you've slept with my wife. I'm coming to get you. My goodness. So then my mate just pretended to be Maurice. And he was like, don't you talk to me like that. I'm Maurice. You can't speak with me. <laughs> goes, Although, I mean, did he call himself the Space Cowboy? Maybe he was the gangster as <laughs> well? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the uh, Pugsy, the penguin, the penguin bedtime pal, wasn't it, Joey had? Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so he just played along with it for ages. And he's like, I'm going to come for your family. He's like, you want? come from my family wow. my family's definitely unlike yours um what i did have once a friend of mine was having a really really bad time with his boss and he just said his boss had sent him this email it didn't make any sense so he's gone to forward it to someone else in the company he's gone look at this again he's making no sense of what he's saying whatsoever i've already told him how to do this this guy's a complete idiot hit it and realized he just hit reply and not forward to oh, his friend no. oh, straight no. to his boss yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I have a friend who at university set hit reply all to something. I think I can't remember if it was forward or reply all or whatever. And it was, it was a, an event about uh, it was like sort of women in politics event. And he said, you know, I can't think of anything I'd less like to do with my Tuesday evening, a bunch of wingers and all this kind of. It, it really, it didn't go well for him <laughs> after that. That was, that was probably the worst one. Although he was a bit of a sort of Dennis the Menace kind of character, so I wonder if that was maybe. I mean, what what should people do if something's kind of gone awry if you set if you send an email or or a message to the wrong person what would you do about it would you try and sort of pretend it hasn't happened or what would you do you could try and pretend it hasn't try and deflect it i think that's what the ministry of defense did with this didn't they they went well the us have done it they've sent millions to mali they just quickly pointed the other way which <laughs> yeah. I think, look, they're worse than us yeah 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 we only did twenty thousand. they did a million so like cut us some slack um You've just got to hold your hands up, I think, haven't you? I think that's the thing. I mean, I, I mean, a friend of mine once did this ridiculous thing. They had to hold his hands up at work. He, him and his friends got quite drunk, and they uh, called Babe Station because they thought it'd be quite hilarious. And then he uh, realised he'd used his company phone. Ooh. Ooh. So he had to go to his boss the next day and said, look, me and my friends were very drunk. I've used the phone. I've done this. Yeah. I'll just send me the bill. I'll pay for the whole thing. And they did kind of respect him for it. They said, that is absolutely ridiculous. Yes, at least he was but honest about it. And actually, fessing up sometimes is is not not the worst of all uh, plans, really. Uh, and and when, the, when these things go, go horribly, horribly wrong and embarrassingly wrong. Uh, well, listen, thank you very, very much indeed. That is Luke Stephen, 